You should be watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign. Um, but the moon's gonna resonate the best for you, most likely. So if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below, and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign. And a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Taurus. So Taurus singles, what do we have for you generally in the month of November? They're like, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, but make sure that you're going to continue to communicate with people. Um, so this is a really good month for you in terms of like flirty text messages, um, talking to people on your online dating sites, that kind of a thing. If you put the energy in, you will be rewarded for that. So good for you. In general, what is it that you want this month in regards to love? And they said, okay, well, you know, as the month starts out, you might not be feeling like you want anything because emotionally there's some imbalance there. You might be feeling kind of hopeless and more just like focused on work, your day-to-day -day life, that kind of a thing. Um, but if you continue to behave in this way, if you don't go out and speak to other people, at all this month, um, if you don't smile at strangers, that kind of a thing, you're gonna be really confused walking into December about, hey, what is it that I want? Is love even important to me? That kind of a thing. So what is it that you actually need? And they said you need to take baby steps. They're like, it's not gonna be hard as you think it is, it's a mind fuck, okay? If you think that it's gonna be hard to meet new people, if you think it's gonna be hard to make connections, if you think it's gonna be hard to communicate, then that's actually gonna be your reality. But they're like, prove to yourself, little by little, make a goal of, you know, like, communicating with somebody one time a day, even if it's not somebody that you're interested in romantically, it could just be like friendships, like starting up a conversation one time a day with a new person, you know, like over a period of 15 days or something like, you know, somebody at a coffee shop or whatever. They're like, you, you don't have to, you're not going to be like committing your whole life to them. So don't be afraid of that. And it's not to say like Taurus is a shy sign. I mean, probably some of you are, but um, they're like, this is really for your highest good because you're going to make really good connections. Like, even if they're not love connections, they could lead to that, like via somebody that you are introduced to or something like that. So, um, how is it that you're going to get the love that you're desiring in the month of November? And they say, you know, don't be defensive. Like, honestly, this isn't going to be as hard as you think it is. Um, but if you're not going to go out and do anything, then you're not going to get it. Because I, I guess your spirit guides here are really concerned that you're just not going to apply yourself in the month of November. <laughs> it's like they're calling you out. It's like when a coach is like, you can't do it. Like, you'll never make that shot like because you're a pussy or whatever. Um, it's That's kind of this energy here. So um, overall, what do you need to release in the month of November in order to find the love that you're desiring? And they say um, that things can't move or change, that you can't change, that you're just, you know, you're just going to be alone and you're never going to find this love. They're like, those are things you need to take action on and um, mindsets that you really need to change and you need to change them now. You need to change them immediately. They say that um, maybe you have kind of started to adopt this belief that happily ever after doesn't exist. Um, 
maybe the version that you used to believe in doesn't, but maybe you can create a new version of what happily ever after looks like for you. Okay. So that's really important. It can look different for everyone. Now, what is the overall lesson in the month of November? And you have two of them, fear and guilt. Look at that. That makes total sense. Um, it says, so some good affirmations with these to turn it around is I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And I realize that any beliefs that no longer, or I'm releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. That's totally the case. So whatever kind of ideas that you have that are preventing you from letting love in, where you're kind of like pushing it out, you got to let those go because it's not for your soul's highest growth. And then also, um, it is a test for you to really like examine, like, what are my belief systems? What are my fears? And are they accurate? Can I amend these? Can I change them so that I'm better equipped to welcome love into my life? Give me a second because I dropped that one on the floor. Okay. So, my darlings, looking at Taurus couples for the month of November in general, what's the situation? They're like, yep, you're de definitely coupled. You're not single. But maybe you don't feel like things are going fairly, you know? Like maybe you are not having your expectations met as to how you thought this relationship was going to go. And it's not that you're being selfish. You know, your expectations aren't wrong. It's just they're not going that way. So what should you keep doing in order to um, kind of foster more love in your relationship? And they had a lot of stuff to say here. They said... Um, Take baby steps for changing your perception of what is right, what is fair, how should things look, okay? They said, this is not the month where you want to, like, bitch about it, where you want to be like, you know what? I thought when we moved in together that you were going to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and this is how it was going to be. They're like, okay, just understand that maybe things don't go the way we want. It doesn't mean we have to love them the way that they are. But um, if we nag about it, then we're going to end up hurting ourselves. And the trouble is, is that, you know, maybe you're not wrong to have these expectations, these ideas that you had, okay? But perhaps it's not really fair to put it on your partner and be like, look, I didn't tell you that this was my expectation, but it's totally my expectation. And I'm super disappointed that you're not um, reading my mind and living up to what I expected when we never laid that out. Does that make sense? So they're like, what's going to end up happening is you're going to feel really alone. There might be like, um, you know, silent treatment kind of a thing going on if you're going to nag about it. So like sh slowly shift your perspective, like, and start to want ask yourself, like, okay, the expectations that I have, like, where did they come from? And are they fair? You know, it's not wrong that you want things the way you want them. But it is wrong to maybe expect that somebody else can read your mind. Now, what is it you need to stop doing? This, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, they're like, you know, some of you are going to take this to the absolute opposite extreme. And out of wanting to not look like a bitch or not look crazy, um, not say anything at all, and kind of stay in a situation that isn't for your highest good. So they're like, just be really cautious of extremes. you got to be real Libra with this, like real middle ground. Um, general advice on how to handle this month with your partner. And they say that you might not feel really, really confident this month, but um, like... It's a kind of a temporary energy, what we're going through right now. And by the time that we get to the end of, like, to the middle of December, this energy will have ended. Like, it's going to come to the end. It's going to shift. It's going to change. And it's going to change for the better. So just kind of try to remember that. And it's maybe one of those months where, uh, like, if you can just kind of take a break, like, have some a little bit of alone time, sleep a little more, that kind of a thing, you're going to feel much better about your relationship. So the general advice in November for Taurus is, yeah, just focus on the lighter, humorous side of things if as much as possible, okay? For those of you Taurus who are in between, you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, or maybe it's just not been made official, what do we have? And they're like... Okay, so there's absolutely nothing that you can do to change the situation. You cannot make somebody fall in love with you if they haven't. 
you cannot um, bend them like to your will. They're going to do things in the time that is right for them based on how they're feeling and what they're thinking. So that's a harsh reality. Um, and I mean, in a personal reading, we could look more at what they're thinking, but because there's so many of you, it's going to be very challenging for me to say, um, you know, for all 1,000 Tauruses in this situation, um, this is how your partner feels about you. So I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is, oh, I'm going to tell you about the challenge, apparently. <laughs> the challenge is to ask yourself, like, the challenges that you have here with your on-again, off-again, with this person, <coughs> excuse me, um, is to ask yourself, like, is it worth it? Like, the joy... Um, and the sadness like do they balance each other out is it worth it am I more happy am I more sad like how am I really feeling like how much effort do I want to apply to this situation what do I want to do because it's fucked up something's out of balance that's for sure so let's look at your general advice actually and they say that you know even though it might not feel successful right now not everything is ruined um between the two of you okay um, it's not necessarily a lost cause, but it's a matter of like seeing the support that is there, um, and how this person can help you. Um, not you necessarily giving to them to help them. It's about how they, how they can make your life better. And if you're having a hard time finding, um, how they enhance your life, then maybe it's time to walk away. But they're saying that, you know, old ways of doing things between the two of you, there does have to be a change. A change does have to occur. Will it occur in November? Maybe. Um, it's really going to depend on the free will of both of you. But they're like, yes, this situation does need to change. It needs to come apart so that a new better one can be built, whether it's with that person, like the, a new way of doing things with them, or if it's with somebody different entirely. So that's your November and I'll see you in December. Mwah!